Hi guys, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a Rattlewick Punch. This cocktail is by Maggie Hoffman, who is a senior or managing editor at Serious Eats. It's got some flavors that go really well together, gin, Aperol, citrus, uh, grapefruit, although this has actually got a little bit of blood orange, hence why the color looks a little bit different. Uh, well, first of all, I hope you guys have had a fantastic Christmas holiday period. I know I said in my last video that I was gonna do like a little bit of a series over Christmas, but things have been just absolutely crazy and I wasn't able to. So I couldn't uh, I couldn't pass up doing a New Year's cocktail for you guys. Um, so I'm just gonna share what I'll be doing for my New Year's. Uh, I'm going away for the weekend and we're just doing batch cocktails to make it really easy for ourselves. Um, reason why I've been so busy is, I mentioned in my last video as well, is me and two mates launched our own gin, threefold aromatic gin, uh, and naturally I'm gonna be drinking it over New Year's, and I thought also with this particular cocktail, it'll work really well because we've got a lot of grapefruit and rosemary. So those grapefruit notes are gonna work well with the Aperol as well as the uh, fresh grapefruit juice. So let's get started straight off the cocktail. Um, this calls for 475 mil. This is a 500 ml bottle, so I'm just dumping the whole thing in. Now this batch cocktail goes to show how easy it is to entertain and make good quality cocktails. You can essentially put all your ingredients except for your sparkling wine into your bigger vessel, whatever you're utilizing, a, a giant mason jar or uh, one of these jars with a little tap on it. Keep it in the fridge, chill it, and then right before you're going to serve, right before your guests come around, then add the, the sparkling. Um, the reason you do that is you just don't want your sparkling to go flat. So next up, we've got the Aperol. Thanks to Craig and Laura. This is like the never ending bottle of Aperol. It's been on the back bar and uh, I keep sneaking it, emptying it and having to replace it. So 120 mil, so four ounces of Aperol. This is a large jigger, so that is 60 mil, two ounces. And a second time, 124 ounces. And next up, some Fresh lemon juice, uh, 175 mil. So these are 200 ml bottles, so just that was just a little bit under. And then likewise for the simple syrup, 175 mil. Same again for the fresh grapefruit juice, 175 mil. So ideally you wanna keep this in the fridge and then get this really nice and cold because then when you add the ice, to your drink, it's not going to dilute as much. So I'm going to add a lot of ice into it. So the idea is you want to keep it really, really cold. And then I'm just going to throw some ruby red grapefruit into the jug. Just some nice big slices. Whatever citrus you have, some lemon wheels. Fresh lime. Give that a quick stir, and then when you're ready to serve, top it up with a dry sparkling. So a brute, uh, a sex, this is a, a German sparkling, which is a drier style. <laughs> so the recipe calls for about, I think it was 355 mil, which is 12 ounces. Uh, these are 200 mil bottles, so I'm going just a little bit above. So just give it a bit of a stir. I know for some people overseas, it's probably like cold weather, so this might not be such a suitable drink for you. But here in Adelaide, it's been stinking hot. It's 40 degrees right now, which is probably, you might notice, I'm 
a little bit sweaty, which 40 degrees Celsius, which is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty warm. This type of drink is gonna go down really well for, for me on New Year's. And to serve this one, just gonna fill an old fashioned glass with ice, throw a wedge of grapefruit in it, and pour away. So I did mention our threefold gin. Um, we've been uh, working on this recipe for about 12 months. We have 11 botanicals in the gin, but it's very uh, citrus forward. It's got grapefruit, rosemary, and lavender, um, as well as the obvious um, juniper, coriander. Uh, it's got some pink pepper and some native pepperberry, which adds a little bit more, um, more balance to the gin, a little bit of spice to carry it through on the palate. We've been working on the recipe for 12 months and we've only just launched before Christmas. Um, but this should work really nicely in this particular, I mean, I'm a little bit biased, but it should work really well in this particular cocktail because the botanicals in the gin match the ingredients. So there you have a Radowick punch. Cheers. That works really well. The, the grapefruit flavors within the Aperol and the juice work really well with, with our gin, if I say so myself. It's really refreshing. It, I really like this, the sparkling that, that I'm utilizing with it. Make sure you use a dry sparkling because I think if you use a sweeter sparkling, it will, will be too sweet, uh, especially once you've added the 200 ml or the 175 ml of uh, simple syrup. So this is fantastic. If, if it's hot where you are, then I'd highly recommend utilizing this for your, your batched cocktail for New Year's Eve. Thanks for all your support in 2019. Have a great New Year's, stay safe, and I'll see you in 2020. Cheers.